taking a live look right now from the Mission Ridge camera. Let's get to meteorologist Cedric Haynes here in the studio for a check of our forecast and lots of people watching this week carefully as students head back to school. Cedric, hot and humid too. Hot and humid out there, uh, Latrice. And I'll tell you what, that's going to be the pattern, but something you also you'll notice is that we're starting to see more and more pop-up showers and storms developing. And you can look from the clouds here. This is from downtown Chattanooga. Notice they're starting to get a little vertical depth with it. That just tells us that the humidity is there and that these clouds are trying to build up and produce those thunderstorms. Storms, and I think we'll see more of that as we go into the next couple of hours. It's 87 degrees here in downtown Chattanooga with a dew point of 72, so it feels like it's about 93 degrees outside. It's 86 in Dayton and Athens. Good afternoon in Cleveland. You're at 87 degrees, already 90 in Dalton. It's 86 degrees in Scottsboro. Our friends over in Jackson County, Alabama, seeing some warm temperatures. Also 82 degrees in Fort Payne over in DeKalb County. Notice the lower 80 still over in the Blue Ridge. That's because you have more clouds and even some scattered showers out that way. So here's the the current weather setup across the area. We've got this big area of high pressure off the southeast coast that's giving us that southerly flow pumping in the deeper moisture off of the Gulf of Mexico. Now that's going to combine with the heat today to give us those typical daytime afternoon pop up showers and storms. Yes, some of those storms could produce some localized heavy rainfall. They could also produce frequent lightning, especially with all this heat and humidity in place and maybe even some gusty winds. So that's kind of your typical summertime pattern. We also have a couple of more fronts lining up to our north and west and those fronts are actually going to increase our chances for rainfall as we go into the next couple of days. So kind of what you see is what you get, but we'll see more of those pop up showers and storms over the next few days. So let's talk about today at first as we go throughout the rest of this afternoon. Again, notice that chance of pop up showers and storms developing throughout the afternoon hours. Doesn't mean it's going to rain all day. Doesn't mean it's going to be a washout. Just know there will be a few out there here and there and temperatures otherwise will be getting close to 90 and the heat index. This shows lower 90s. I wouldn't be surprised if a few places get close to 100 with that heat index especially by late this afternoon. So prepare for that if you're going to be out and about. Otherwise, high temperatures, 88 degrees in Athens and Dayton, 89 in Cleveland. We'll go with about 90 in Dalton and Chattanooga and 87 degrees for high in Fort Payne. So that's the summer like pattern. Let's talk about some good news, right? The fall countdown. Yes, we're still counting down and it's getting closer and closer, folks. Now down to just 45 days and that's for the official start of fall, which of course is September the 22nd. That's when the fall equinox occurs. So we are getting closer to maybe some fall like weather, but could we see any fall like conditions before then? Let's dive into the data and find the answer here. Let's look at what's going on right now. Very humid air. We're just smack dab in the middle of all this tropical air that's in place across the area. So we've been in this pattern really for the past month to two months. And I know you're wondering any signs of relief. Well, I am tracking maybe our first little taste, our first little preview of fall with this cold front off to the north, close to the Canadian border. Behind this front, drier, less humid air, and even some slightly cooler air behind it. And that's something we're going to be tracking closely. So let's go through our latest future cast into the Storm Alert Weather Center. High pressure, a few pop-up storms this afternoon. Probably not going to be a big deal, probably not too widespread. Better chances for more widespread activity as we go into your Tuesday and an even better chance as we get into your Wednesday as that front kind of settles in across the area. Once the front pushes south and the rain chances in Thursday morning, we've got some pleasant weather. Look at the blue arrows lining up to our north. All right, let's go on a little closer and show you this here with Futurecast again. You'll be able to see we've got that mix of clouds and sunshine, a few pop up showers today, very few and far between. But notice going into your Tuesday, a little better coverage of showers and thunderstorms showing up out there. So yeah, make sure you keep the rain gear nearby. Here's your storm alert seven day forecast 90 today, 90 for Tuesday and Wednesday with the chance of scattered showers and storms. But look at that Latrice this weekend, pleasant conditions and low humidity. That looks good. Thank you so much there, Cedric.